that way too. Yeah. It'll really expand that rip. Exactly. Uh, should we here, Bob? Wow, let's let's just show that because I want to sure. bring this into something else. So you're doing your breathing, and then your ten breaths feel pretty good like this, and then start to do this, and you may find you only get to hear, especially on the broken side. Ooh, because bringing it up is going to hurt. But you know, after a few days, deep breath with this, and once you can do this, you know, five or ten repetitions, and it's not so sharp pain, it's just feeling some stretch. Then we're going to progress on to rotation. Sure. Where you use the yeah, and, and this is where you really need. You can use a cane. I've done this with patients. Uh, a little bit stick you can use. Use a broomstick. Something has to be strong because you're going to put it over the back of your shoulders and like this. And the reason we use this, and you do it in a seated position, not standing, is because seated locks your pelvis in. Yep. Put your hands here, lock your shoulders in, and then we're going to rotate. So all the rotation happens in the thoracic area or the ribs. Um, so you're going to go both directions. Now, if one way is probably going to hurt more, when you get to the sharp pain, you stop. Don't push it. If the other way feels better, go and tell you know, how pain tolerates and allows you. And again, you might just go one way because this way really hurts. You know, and the next day you'll find that you do 10 to the left and back to the right. You can do five, and it's it's not as far, but it's better. Sure. So progress as tolerated. Yeah. Um, so you can see if, if I did that standing, my pelvis might move. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you can do it, but it's yeah. going to be more effective in a seated position. Exactly. Uh, Bob, the next one.